I just have to do my exercise really quickly before we start. Just hold on a little bit. Okay, I'm back. A very warm welcome to the channel. It is Monday, 4th of July, Independence Day in the United States of America. So if you are there or celebrating, I hope you have a most epic day and maybe you have to go back to work tomorrow just to put a downer on it. Welcome to the channel. And let's go straight into the weather for now. Let's have a look what's happening here. The hand, as always, is by the Free Gorges Dam. I have expanded the map to near enough to the whole of China. And the south is actually having the normal amount of rain. And you can see some monsoon, etc. To the north, you can just see also uh, around this going into the... Um, around Korea as well, and North Korea, there have been some heavy rainstorms, or will have some heavy rainstorms as well. So this is China in, this is summer in China, not the best place in the world to go to. Let's have a look at the levels for you for today. And Kutan Chongqing is 166.18. Free Gorges is at 148.52. That seems to have gone down. Green means it's gone down. And the levels, sorry, the inflow and outflow. Inflow at the Three Gorges is 18,600 and the outflow is 24,100. So a 6,000 variant there. And the satellite, the latest satellite picture you can see here is the same as you could say three or four days ago. This comes from the Senatal Playground, and you can quite easily go there and see lots of satellite images from anywhere around the world. This is from a two kilometer uh, distance and nothing really to report. Levels are down at the um, upstream of the, or the reservoir itself there. Now, let's go into the title of this. Monsoon rain puts pressure on China's Free Gorges Dam. Now, I want to state this is an old title from 2020, but and at the moment on the Yangtze, they haven't had as many floods or any kind of situation as bad as they have had in Southern China at the moment. They say in the South of China, it's like, the once in a century or once in a lifetime kind of situation and you saw on the weather up north near Beijing and Qingdao that kind of area some heavy rain is approaching there later this week but you could imagine this article I'm only going to read the first paragraph after a particular active monsoon across central parts of China with places recording more than double the normal amount of rain in June and July the water pressure on the Free Gorges Dam increasingly significant, leading to a slight deformation of the structure during July. Luckily, the dam has de been declared safe, as millions of people downstream, as of the, de millions of people downstream of the river, in towns such as now, as we all well know as Wuhan. Now, quote: This is from 2020. Please note, this is from 2020. But as soon as that rain hits the upstream, as soon as the rain gets to Chongqing upstream of the Free Gorges Dam, it's going to be this kind of situation again. Last year, it was okay. They, were, they opened the sluice gates once or twice, and they opened maybe um, like two or three gates. It wasn't full. And this year, you can expect the same. The levels will rise because the rain upstream of the dam and that's going to get bring the concern in once again. So when it gets to about 160, 165 meters this month or next month, then they possibly will open the sluice gates. I just hope that they will inform the residents below the Free Gorges Dam that they are going to open because cities like Yingchang and well-known town of Wuhan. Okay, away from the Free Gorges Dam and into Hong Kong. The 1997 handover. So I grew up in Hong Kong when it was still free. The way that we were allowed to think, we're allowed to talk, it's very different from 
what we're seeing right now in Hong Kong. And the 25th anniversary marks a very disheartening day for all of us because it symbolized how much we have lost in the last 25 years. We have lost our freedom of speech, our freedom to conscience, and our freedom of expression. And Beijing will not stop cracking down on us from what John Lee has made very clear since he was elected in the sham election, basically selected by Beijing, saying that it's going to impose a lot of more, uh, more like harsh laws to try to tighten its control over Hong Kong again. And you're one of several high-profile activists who have decided to leave Hong Kong. Can you tell me at what point you felt like you could no longer stay? In 2020, I was at the time preparing for a petition in the German parliament. And at the time, the national security law was being announced, making colluding with foreign forces illegal, meaning that the, the thing, the act of just organizing a petition in the German parliament is basically illegal. So I know if I want to complete the whole thing that I've initiated, I will have to leave Hong Kong and come back to Germany to finish my studies and at the same time do that petition at the hearing that, come, uh, that came after it. And away from Hong Kong into a beautiful new tourist area here in Siam Rip called Anchor Green Village. And if you want to see the full video, do go and check it out in the link in the description below under We, excuse me, under We Travel. Bắp muối Bắp muối Bắp muối Bắp muối Sơn tùy Sơn tùy Áo tiền Bắp hạ bắp tùy 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 Đọc mũi, đọc bộ mũi, xôn, tì And that brings us to a close on today's episode of what's happening with the free gorges, what's happening in China, etc, etc, and a little bit of promotional work or promotional advertising on my other channel. Please do and go and check them out. They are growing channels. Um, if you just click the like, click the describe, click the link, click everything, all the buttons, just click them all. It really helps the algorithm. And of course, on this channel, like, subscribe and share. Have a most epic day wherever you are in the world, celebrating the 4th or not celebrating the 4th, working today, not working today, whatever the situation in your life, I hope it's a most enjoyable day. Be good, be well, be safe, be happy. Give a kiss to the people that you love. Bye-bye for now.